So in this video, I wanna talk about something really important, something I mentioned before, but I just wanna highlight, and that is your draw elbow and the movement of this through the shot. So what do I mean by this? Essentially, when you look at someone shooting, if you watch their draw elbow, you'll see that if you put a dot on this elbow, so as you can see in this video that I've made previously, this is on my website, this video with the dot shows the trace of the elbow as it's moving through the shot. Now, why is this important? Essentially, what you want to make sure of is that at all times, your draw elbow is moving away from the target and then finally around the body when you expand. At no point should the draw elbow collapse forwards. Really, really important. And one of the reasons I wanted to mention this today is last week this was some area that I was working with a couple of my archers on because there was a key thing during the shot that the elbow wasn't moving enough. So now let me show you what we do want from the elbow and then an example of a couple of issues. So with the elbow moving, if I have the band here, if you watch the elbow here, ideally you would come up, so set position, you would raise up and then the elbow would draw, move through and then continue moving in, come into anchor and then as you're expanding, you would see the elbow, if you see the dot here as well, the elbow would come in and then there would be a downward natural up, so like a V as you come into anchor, that natural V, and then as you expand, elbow moves around and then you shoot. That's ideally what we want, and I'll do that again now with the band, so it would be, something like that. I'm hoping on the, with the band there, there's, <laughs> there shouldn't be any collapse or anything. So the reason that's important is essentially if you don't maintain the elbow, if you allow it to be pulled forwards like this, so come up and forwards, essentially you're losing the connection between your hand, elbow and your scapula. And you're losing the connection between your shoulder blade moving round and you're collapsing on that shoulder. And then it's gonna be very hard to get the good line that you want and crucially, the good movement. Recurve archery, as I've said many times before, is all about good movement. And if that elbow collapses, game over. So to keep that moving, there's a couple of things. Obviously poundage has a big impact. If your bow is too heavy when you come up, it's very likely that you're gonna go forwards. But the second thing is making sure you're feeling enough movement. So I can pretty much guarantee you that as you're watching the video now, you probably think, okay, yeah, I'm moving my elbow because I would have to be moving my elbow when I'm drawing the bow. If the string is drawing, then the elbow must be moving, right? <laughs> but not necessarily the case. So. An example of this is someone might be lifting up and drawing and then at the end of the shot, so when they come through set up here and then when they draw from set up into anchor, they might feel like they're drawing fast, but what they're actually doing is this and it's mostly just closing down the gap here and then when you look from the back, you'll see not really much movement of the elbow. So it looks kind of big there because the camera's close, but essentially the elbow is almost fixed and then it's just the hand that's moving. And you can really see this, there's two angles you can really see this from, is when you do like a, a, an angle here and you can see if the elbow's moving. So through the shot like that, very obvious. And then from overhead, you can see it really well. But what will happen a lot of the time is if you rewatch a video of you shooting, you'll see actually, even though you feel like you're drawing the bow, even though you feel like you're moving the elbow a lot, that there's actually points in the shot where the elbow kind of stops movement. Even though you're drawing the string, the elbow's kind of paused and stuck out. And these are the key points where you have to really work on keeping the elbow moving. One of these key points is the setup. So this is really, really important because obviously if you're drawing up, feeling your line here at setup, because there's this pause, which actually isn't really a pause, it's just a a slowing down, because of this slowing down here, it's very tempting to say, okay, I'm gonna check everything. Oh, the bow has pulled my elbow. Super, super common. Really, really important to get that, get rid of that as soon as you can. And this is something probably, uh, I don't know how many years I was shooting for with this kind of issue in my technique. But basically, this is really, really detrimental to the final position you can get to and then to the expansion. So what you wanna do is take a video of you shooting from this angle. So I call this, this would be a five o'clock angle. So this is a three o'clock angle. 12 o'clock is the uh, target. This is a three o'clock camera angle. 
six o'clock camera angle. So just move a little bit to like a five o'clock angle here. Look at your elbow, see, is it moving around at all times or is there a point where it collapses or is there a point where it just stops moving? Review that in your video and you'll be surprised at the difference between your feeling and then what's actually happening on the video. Really, really big difference. It will feel like you're doing this and the video it just is not really moving enough. So really important to get that objective feedback rather than just relying on your subjective feeling because it, it can sometimes lie to you and kind of a lot of the time. So when you're working on that, try it with your bow if you want, but you will need to probably do it with a band. So you can try it with your bow and try and pull faster effectively with the elbow. See how it looks on the camera again. If you're struggling with your normal bow, try with a band first and just look, look basically in real time either get your phone and put the selfie camera in live or get a mirror and look up to it. And literally just as I'm doing now, I'm looking at the screen of the camera. I'm looking at my elbow, I'm going, okay, I come up, go through like that, okay. And obviously your head's not in the right position, but it doesn't matter, we're working on, <laughs> we're working on the elbow here. You can then, once you've got the feeling, you just turn to the target, obviously. Um, and then once you're getting that feeling with the band, try it with a light bow, try it with the main bow. This is that progression that I always talk about, starting with the lighter stuff, and then moving on to the heavier, your main bow, that kind of thing. But it's super important to keep this elbow moving round. And I just wanna show you a couple of examples now from overhead where you can see this is good. So on the left is an example of a good keeping the elbow moving. And then on the right is an example of not keeping the elbow moving. And crucially at one point in the shot here, it's pretty much just the arm is moving and the elbow is kind of stagnant, is not moving around the body. And you can see there are other differences in the technique here, but you can see the final alignment when the elbow is moving through is much better as well. And when you're moving the elbow through, it will make your total time of the draw up of your shot shorter, and that will make your total timing of the shot shorter. And then obviously from a previous video that I mentioned, which you can see up here with the timing, this has a benefit on your shooting and then your long-term progression as well, if you can get your timing of your shot down a little bit. So I definitely recommend checking out that video if you haven't seen it already yet. Now, finally, before we finish up, I wanna mention one thing which is really important, your hook. If you lose the hook on the string, you'll probably lose your elbow as well. Because if you imagine you're here, if you're slipping here, you can kind of see it's encouraging my elbow to go forwards, especially when you've got the weight, the full weight of your bow, you know, 30, 35, 40, 45 pounds, whatever it is, it's a reasonable amount of weight. Slipping on the fingers and losing the hook will cause you to lose the elbow. And then when you're expanding, you'll see you come in and this. So you don't want to see this happening when you're expanding. You wanna come in, move around, shoot like that. That's really key. So set your hook at the start here and then make sure you can feel that hook. You relax the back of the hand. I've said about many times, I've got different videos on this as well. Relax the back of the hand, feel the hook into the elbow. And then once you've got that, don't then let the hook compromise or slide, slip out during the draw because otherwise you'll lose the elbow. So I hope that video on the draw elbow is useful. I just wanna say a big thank you to all my patrons who are helping support Online Archery Academy on Patreon. If you want to join and get exclusive content, you can go to patreon.com forward slash online archery academy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.